Explosions. Welcome to the podcast of Eric Bowman. Here, let me take off these headphones. Welcome to my show, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight, what we're going to be talking about is the perfectionist nature of human beings, particularly my experience with it thereof. I don't know. Um, This podcast serves as a practice platform. I urge you to do the same. Before we begin, what I'm doing is I'm on this system called Spreaker. And with Spreaker, all you need to do is just sign up. It's completely free. And you can talk about anything you'd like. Um, You can even play music. It's insanely simple. All you do is you can download the application. There's two of them. One for playing Spreaker podcasts, which I urge you to give some of these a listen. They're pretty good. Um, But I also urge you to, first, create your own. Because everybody has a voice. Everybody has something to say. And not everybody expresses what needs to be said. I liken it to a prayer. Uh, Most people, if they pray, they will articulate their ideas to an abstract... um, an abstract nature. They will just say it out to the world and hope that it comes to fruition um, just from that simple act. And, and in, a lot of times it does. It, whenever you put your intention out into the world, you're more able to recall it in the future. Uh, the more you articulate your ideas and how you think about and how you formulate your opinions of the world around you, the more readily you can collect this... Um, these thoughts whenever you're talking to somebody else and and encoding this information into another human being. Um, That's what connection is all about. You're connecting people to the world and everything that it has to offer. And I think Spreaker is a great platform for this because, for one, it's completely free. But two, it's it's a very user-friendly interface to where all you do is you download it and you can instantly have a podcast. It's very simple. And I use it as a practice ground to articulate my ideas for one, for two, to document what happens in my life, and for three, it's it's like it's to reach an audience that I can, whenever I can. Um, I'd like to articulate a lot of my ideas um, in a way to where I can reach people and and have my ideas spread in some way, but I want to have a good idea to spread. And this this serves as both sides of the coin here, where I can both develop, develop and publish my ideas simultaneously. Um, and Spreaker's really simple. You can even, if you have songs on your phone, like I have an iPhone, all I do is I, I can hit add songs and play songs on here. You can become a DJ, very simple. Um, all you need to do is download, it's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. You're likely on the application as we speak. Uh, I know sometimes this goes onto my Twitter, and you may be listening through that application, but I urge you to make your own, because it's it's one of those things that really creates leaders in the society. Um, you need to have some sort of way to to articulate your ideas, but to to, like publish, to make tutorials, to tell your tale in some fashion, and this is a great way to do it. Um, You can also do it on YouTube, of course, but uh, with my experience with it, you need a lot of editing, and it's, it's a long procedure, and I I urge anybody who has the time to do that to do so because it's a very rewarding process. However, I just, I, I simply do not. In my own experience, I don't have the time to dedicate to this. And as you can hear, I'm driving right now. It's, it's very simple. I, you have time while you're driving to do something. Um, it's not distracting in the least. Um, and... You can do it hands-free as well. I plug this up to my headphones, and I'm just talking into it. 
I don't have to fiddle around with my phone whatsoever. I just click a button and it's gone, you know? Um, so, again, I urge anybody to join the Spreaker community, um, create your own podcast, and then connect with me. And I would love to hear your process and see how you've progressed in some way. Um, and this, this philosophy, this whole thing, comes from... Um, my experience with TED Talks and Ron Paul's book, the, the, uh, shit, the school revolution. Um, and also Joe Rogan, obviously. If you guys have never heard the Joe Rogan podcast, I absolutely urge you to do so. It's, it's a very funny and insightful podcast where he, he, um, invites on guests and, and just talks to really renowned people in multiple fields and can really pick their brain in ways to where it'll show you inspiration that you've, you've really, it, it introduces me to a new philosophy, a new take on life, to where I would have never thought of it otherwise. Um, anyway, this, this podcast right here is written, it's, uh, it's called Written in Sand, and I name it that because I want to talk about how we, we all aren't writing in stone. We're we're instead writing in sand um, and building sand castles. When we talk to each other in this world, nothing is permanent, nothing stays still, it's not static, and it's not written in stone. It's written in sand, it's, it's very temporary, and the tide comes in and washes everything away. And though you can write in stone, you first need to practice in writing in sand, and, and that's it's a perfect way to tie in the Spreaker idea. Um, I just urge anybody out there to articulate their ideas to the point of perfection. Um, everybody has something to say, but we all aren't the best presenters of information until we have a, a large amount of practice and experience in the field. Um, and the only way to do that is to really suck at it. It's just to, to go into it really sucking and knowing that you did something terrible. And you never want to do that again. Um, there's a lot of times on this podcast where I've lost my train of thought or I've, I've gone down a path that I can't find my way out of. And through those experiences, they've, they've, kind, of, they've kind of been written in stone in my mind to where I've, I always hear myself saying those, those shitty things, and I never want to say it again, um, and when I can recognize what I do wrong and hear it in my mind, um, it prevents me from doing so in the future. So, I urge you to download the Speaker app and really suck at it for a good while, but then start getting good at it, and I'm, I'm really not saying that I'm good at it at this point, but at some point, I will write something in stone, and when I do... I want to know that I've written in sand so much that I'm perfect at it, that it's like, it comes natural. Um, we're not born smart. Nobody is. The only smart people out there have just dedicated the time to, to accumulating that knowledge. Um, think about what we're doing in our lives. Right now, I'm driving. It's a waiting game. I, I'm doing something... But not really. It's something repetitive to the point where I can put some other stimuli in my life. Um, but I. But most people do not. They or they'll fill it in with stimuli that isn't rewarding in the least. They'll fill it with music, and I don't. There's nothing really against music. I think it's a beautiful art form, but it has its place and. When you're traveling in a car, especially to somewhere where you're about to accomplish a task or do something for the greater good of society, it's it's just not a good medium. You, it can pump you up for the gym, absolutely. Uh, if you're doing something that requires a lot of attention, yes, do you can play some music. It's it's fine, um, so long as it doesn't distract you. But it's 
podcasts and audiobooks are the way to go if you're waiting for something like, like say you're waiting for a bus. Listen to a podcast. You know, learn those things that others write in sand. So you can more perfectly write in stone. Um, I liken life to building sandcastles because that's all we really are doing. We're, we're constantly building these things that won't really matter in the end. But we continually do so because, I mean, for one, it's fun, but for two, it's, it's good practice. And, and you should do so any chance you get. Um, for now I have to go. I think I might pick up on this point in the later podcast, but thanks for listening. This is the Eric Pullman podcast. I don't know what to call it. Um, still, uh, Eric Pullman driving time. Anyway, you have a wonderful day, whoever you are.